there's a there's a trend, and I don't know if you've noticed this before. Um, I think I think people have noticed enough where it's become a meme. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's a lot of there's a lot of younger people, uh, guys and girls, who talk a lot about like their anxiety, right? Yeah. People are saying like, oh, I have crippling anxiety and all this sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And I I wonder if it's not because they aren't experiencing life as it's supposed to be lived, right? Like man and woman come together and form a a family unit and the family is the nucleus. It's the cell of society. And because there's a disconnect there in our, in our culture today, I think a lot of people feel disenfranchised and depressed because they're living in, like you said, in like a tiny closet in New York. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, when I was living in New York, for three months i was living in um a really nice area and i was paying eight hundred dollars for basically like half of a room which is like the size of a bathroom right i was gonna say yeah and uh i can tell you i wasn't happy because i was sharing that room with another person so really the house okay sure enough so eight hundred dollars to share a bedroom in new york and I mean, let's, let's, let's expand it out of New York. Even if you're living in LA, which is, I think maybe a little less expensive. Yeah. uh, I mean, you get three quarters of a room. You don't have much, man. And I think people feel depressed because they're not living out their vocation. Yeah. They don't have an idea of what their vocation is anymore. Um, it's good. And I think, I think, I think I have to say this because who knows? We might encounter somebody who's not Catholic or something. Um, but it's good to be, it's good to be a wife. It's good to have children. Yeah. It's good to raise them. It's good to be a father. It's good to to go out to work and provide for your family, and um, and be a martyr for your family. Mm. That's a good thing. You know, that's something that you should look forward to, because that's the way that God made it. You know what we've done, and we're doing this in pre-Cana right now. And our priest is very, very good. But one of the things that he talks about is uh, dismantling feminism. Mm -hmm. And so I'll say from this kind of strain, because I I meet a lot of women, and especially as as traditional Catholics, it's really nice for the first time in my life to meet women who say what they want to do is they want to be moms. Yeah. And we have, as a society, we have pushed motherhood to the fringe of society. Like we've, we've said that killing your baby is virtuous that mm-hmm. picking your career over family is a good thing, that uh, men need women like a fish needs a bicycle. And it's funny because one thing that uh, our priest told us was, if you look at what's happening now, people are realizing all the lies that our 50, 60 years of the sexual de- devolution and feminism has told us. Men and women are not equal and their, their requirements of happiness are, are different. Um, Women are more social and so and nurturing and maternal. And so therefore, there is this great pride. And it's something that even in, in fatherhood, even in paternity, that, that we don't get the depth of because we don't you know, carry a child for nine months. But yeah. there, are, there are millions of women who do have career, or do have, uh, who went to careers, right? Did the whole school route. And to your earlier point, they became a mom and they suddenly did not want to go back to work. Uh, I should talk more about Dave Ramsey later, but you know, he gets calls all the time, which is like, well, uh, I'm a, st- I'm a, st- you know, I'm a stay at home mom. I'm a homemaker. And, uh, I, I have this X amount of debt thing. I didn't really like think this is what I wanted to do, but I looked at that kid and I was like, I'm, I don't want to leave him ever. Um, and yeah. this is where I want to be. And, you know, for me, it's like kind of looking at society and how everything has gone away. We are alone because we've, we've told people for generations that family doesn't bring you happiness, that career and the pursuit of yourself and whatever interests you want to do, as long as it's not built to an eternal concept like family, that's what makes you happy. And so, yeah, there are people who now are in their thirties or in any age and, you know, family for them is just mom and dad and brother and crazy aunt Liz. And they come around every Thanksgiving, but otherwise not, they go back and they have an apartment or they're cohabitating with somebody. And this is a second, third boyfriend, girlfriend, right? Bouncing from relationship to relationship. And, if they and they go back on Facebook, Instagram, and they see that that one girl from high school got married at 22 and now she has a kid and she seems they seem like the, you know it's the struggles, but 
heck, you know, they have a house. That's kind of nice. And it's not just about the materials, but like she, they have, she has somebody that's her husband and he has somebody that's his wife and they can confide in each other. And what I was going to say is in the 1970s, if you look at movies, literature, anything from the 1970s, the divorced woman is powerful, you know, and you know, she can push aside her kids and push aside her husband and all that kind of stuff. And that's great. And, you know, and so you get these, like these dramas, like the husband and the wife are divorced and the kid has to kind of just like kind of choose, but look, it's not a big deal. This is what happens in 2020. There is no uh, illusion about the goodness of a broken family. It's all bad. And so if you see art culture media about divorce, about broken families nowadays, written by the generation that grew up in a single parent household, it's all bad. There's this yeah. understanding amongst everybody that, and it's statistically proven that mother and father being together help in so many ways. And that, that there's nothing wrong with a woman saying that, you know, my vocation is motherhood and it's not a dirty word anymore. And I think it's great that we find so many women, there are women in our lives, obviously, but certainly there are more women who are more likely to step out and go, you know, no, I think being a mom's great. I think it's awesome. You know, I didn't fail the sisterhood by not going to college. I'm not stupid, obviously. Like being a mom, being a wife is extremely difficult. Like a woman has to put up with you and has to put up with me for the rest of her days. Yeah. And then also and love us children. so much. Yeah. And children. And, um, and take care of the house. Look, taking care of the house. I think people have this idea that it's like, an easy thing to be a stay-at-home parent but it's it's really not you have this is this is your domain you know and you have to there's there's all kinds of things to do really yeah. be a home 